What up? So, just gonna work on getting the bottom. Oh, fuck. I thought you were going for enough tap. I panicked so hard. Gotcha. All right. You Taking might, out the crank. Might need a pulleys. Yeah, you're gonna need a pulley puller. Yeah, fuck. I have one in my house. Do you? I think we can pick one up. Yeah. Traction supply yeah. one. Take off the, the oil pickup. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. So we just got back from tractor supply. Fucking rude. <laughs> beep, beep. Uh, just got back from tractor supply, picked up some tools. I grabbed this pulley, three gear puller, three jaw puller, three jaw puller, uh, four inch. I put them moved all the way back so we can like get it all the way on the second pulley. And essentially, as Jake was letting me know, you set it up where you want it, and then this middle part, you gotta you keep the crank nut in there, and then it pops off. You just kind of. Keep screwing it on, and it pops itself out. So that's pretty awesome. And Sorry. there we go. All one piece, and you're gonna take it apart. Yep, that's actually really meant. Needs to be cleaned up. Yeah. All right, so now that that's done. Look, front main seal was leaking. That was yep. where your big oil leak was. Yep. That's what we were guessing, I think, in the beginning too. Really? I I, should, I just saw that, and but, I could tell it's that. Um. So now that that's off, I can take off this. I don't know, I'm just calling it top cradle. And then we can work on taking the end caps off, dropping the pistons. I'll literally have just a block today. Mm -hmm. So that'll be cool. But first, I think we're going to do S13 things. All right, what up, guys? So actually, quick interjection. The S13 is now officially running and driving under its own power. We were all very excited. I had crap on my Snapchat. I didn't grab anything for the GoPro. But it does run and drive. It sounds sick. Few little kinks to work out. Yep. Throttle response, like none. Yeah, well, if we shorten the throttle cable. Yeah, it's something to do with the idea. throttle cable and the map cuts it at the same time. So, like, you get nothing unless you're wide open. Yeah. Then it rests to the moon, and it's very hard to modulate. Yep. To yeah, it's hard to, like, and whatnot. it's hard to gauge where anything is. Yeah. It. But that'll be, that's not a bad thing. And fix. then it, we have to hook up the fan. Yep. That's, that's it. whatever. Yeah. So. The rest is done. Yes, sir. So. Actually, we're letting the car cool down. We were doing a cleanup. And I'm just doing a little more work to the bottom end. Pretty much loosened all these bolts up for this cradle. And uh, I'm just going to pull these bolts out. And I don't know. Maybe I'll just put this in the bottom. Another drawer. I have, I have to, yeah, I have to get a shelf for sure. But, yep, so I'm just going to pull these out. And then I'll show you guys everything else. All right, actually, a quick update. So these are all loose and everything. We'll pull those out after. We're just going to take off the front timing cover and everything. And then uh, we'll get a look at what lies beneath, dude. All right, so I just got back from ripping the S13. Jake was killing it. Sounds sick. Now I'll have the video on it. Yeah. So make sure you guys check out Barn Builds because he's going to have like a sick edit, usual thing yeah. he does. Um, so we're getting the front timing cover off right now. Jake's sending a screwdriver in. Oh, OK. Well. Front timing cover's pretty much off. <laughs> I did the other side off camera. All right, front timing cover. Um, we can take the rest of the chain and everything off now. We can take this guide uh, off. Yeah, Allen's right here. Yep, so we'll take the guide the, off. The uh, three Allen's and the tensioner. Yep, so guide off, chain off, take the cradle off, and then we'll take the caps. Mm -hmm. And then, dude, we're essentially at a bare block. It's gonna be sick, so. All right. The battery's almost dead. Again. All right, we're just taking off these yeah, timing yeah, chain yeah, tensioner brackets and everything right here. So I'm just going to loosen this, take this out, keep this as one unit, and then we'll be able to pull the chain and everything right off. Along with these. So, yeah. give me a sec. What up, guys? Do you know the Z board or oil squares? Yep. So we got the uh, Jake and I got this cradle thing off. And now we're just taking a look at the crank. Crank's mint if you want to just do a quick pan over that. Um, so pretty much what I'm going to do is just going to crack the end caps, take the end caps off, and then... Yeah, this was fuel washed. Yeah, that's what sure. we said before. You can see the cylinder walls. And then we'll drop the rods and pistons, and we essentially have a bare block. I'm really happy about that. Take out the rear main sail, too. And it's official. Yep. Charles' motor blew because it was fuel washed, yep. because the guy cranked it till it flooded, and then kept cranking it, and then ran it. Guy was not smart. No. Not the smartest guy. Running out of room. All right. All right, so Jake's popping out the pistons and rods right now. We're already taking off the end caps. Very important, you keep the same end cap with the rod. They're made for each other and they're machined with each other. 
so that's important. Who's banging that out? Um, nothing crazy except for the, uh, piston number two was actually cracked. Uh, yeah, right here. Yeah. Like literally, uh, you can't three. see. Number two is cracked. Cylinder three had chunked, got chunked in this yep. piston. Uh, number one piston ring was shot and non-existent. And that's in cylinder two. Or three. Three. Yep. Number three had it. So essentially, this guy boosted the crap out of it, fuel washed it, and oh, this, just overall bearing, send it. Bearing, I think, might have been spun because you hear all loose in there. Yeah. So that's all we're doing, and then uh, we'll lift the crank out after, take out the rear main seal, and I think we'll be good Whoa. to go. Yep. Spun bearing. Yep. Oh, that's exactly what it means by spinning a bearing. So these bearings are supposed to be locked in. Oh, right? that's the bottom bearing. It was that. Yeah, he's, cap. he 100% yep. spun the bearing right around. Yep. So this literally, it means these bearings inside, this bottom yep. one, they literally spin around the crank. So yep. this is doing nothing anymore. And this bottom See one the for the end cap, end cap, yep, and the scoring. Yep. It literally ended up on top. And this bearing is still in. So nice, dude. That's how you know it's spun a bearing. That bearing. These are cool little learner tips, dude. I mean, this guy's a savage with the motor. Crank. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to be sending out the crank and everything. And I'm going to get that rebalanced, polished. Hopefully, I can just get away with the polish. And then we'll take a look at the cylinder walls after. So we just flipped the motor over. And we we're taking a look at the uh, walls. We just wiped all the oil and crap out just to take a look. So you want to tell us a little bit about it real quick? So what killed this motor was fuel washing. So what happens is when you flood a motor and you let it sit, the fuel will go down into the cylinder wall and it'll wash past the piston rings eventually. Yep. And it'll contaminate is, the oil. Yep. So what ends up happening is if you flood the motor and let it sit and you don't change the oil and you do that too many times, if you do it one time, you're going to be okay. If you do it a couple times, yeah. what happens is the cylinder walls, the oil basically gets cleaned because fuel is a dissolv or dissolvent. So it cleans the cylinder walls out. That's why I call fuel washing. Yep. And your piston rings have now rubbing on unoiled cylinder walls and that's what kills the pistons all right sorry the battery died i don't know where we let off but basically the um cylinder walls got fuel washed because he flooded and let it sit and then when he ran it the pistons were rubbing up against no uh the sidewall with no lube lubrication so other than fuel i guess <laughs> um so if you look the reason you can really tell is there's rust and pitting on the cylinder walls if these were coated in oil and this came out of a running engine that wouldn't have been the case. Be um, that's why I don't think this engine ever ran well, and the kid lied to us. Which, you know, it's we got it for we got the car for a decent price. It's okay. Yeah. So we're not too upset about it. We got a running one J now. Yep. Um, but overall, what happened was we had a roll bearing in cylinder one. We had a cracked, cracked piston, piston ring. No, cracked piston ring. Oh, two. the other one. The was ring three. broken too. Mm. Three. We had a broken piston. Yeah. Like the where the ring land is, it broke. Yeah, I think I showed them earlier. Yeah. And then and number four was fun. And four had scoring on the bearing, but yeah, that's but because it had it had a roll bearing in one. And yeah, the crank and it, wasn't but even four anymore. was mainly mint. Yeah. We're expecting it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, essentially, again, like I'm only using this motor as like a base to build from. It's going to be sent out to the machine shop along with the crank and everything, and we'll hear what they have to say. I'm still looking for one, and once I decide on one I guy, just, that'll be cool. And the the, the cylinder walls don't look terrible. No, uh, I it think looks like it's. Like fixed. pretty much, if there's huge scratches or scarring or something, that's when you start yeah. to get worried. This one this isn't bad. It has rust so pitting. This and is all that a machine shop can take yeah. out, more than likely. Yeah. So I think we're set on that. I'm <laughs> gonna have to scrape off some of this crap so the machine guy doesn't hate me and like charge me up the ass to fix it, yeah. <laughs> clean it up. Clean it. Um, but that's pretty much it for today. That was the goal for this weekend. We got the S13 running. I got the block stripped down. That was really sick. Thanks to everyone for the help. Yeah. Mike's on his phone, as always. Always Send catching it. him on the phone, dude. What, dude? All right. Thanks, Jake. No problem. All right. So, appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, sub, share. Make sure to check out Barn Builds. And we will catch you on the next one. Deuces. Where our 240s run. And that's all. <laughs>